G'day everybody, this is Mr. Oz Video 1985 here with a brand new video and today I'm going to be doing another sci-fi movie review and this time around I am going to do a movie or sci-fi movie review on the movie that came out last year starring Tom Cruise and Morgan Freedom Bolivian I have to say, I really enjoy Oblivion. Um, I know there seems to be a lot of hype about it. I, I did, it did pretty well at the um, thing, and I think it's a movie that, it, of course, it start. It was, I think, came out in the beginning of the year, and by the end, I think people stopped talking about it. Not because it's a bad, a bad movie or anything. I mean, that's just gonna make it light. But yes, jaw-dropping visual spectacular by a digital spy um, because we all this is a groundbreaking cinematic event starring Tom Cruise as Jack Jack Harper a lone security repairman station on a um, nearly real future earth when a rescue when he rescues a beautiful stranger from a down space craft he he arrives a non-stop chain of events that force him to question everything he knows and leaves humanity's faith in the hands Academy Award winner Morgan Freedom joins Cruz in his visually stunning explosion, exploring story from the director of Troy Legacy, Troy Legacy and the producer of Rise of the Planet of the Apes. And it really is, and it's very, uh, visual, visually, it's very good. The storyline is, it is very, um, good as well. It had a lot of puffs, um, twists and turns. We know when we see, if you haven't seen this film, please go watch it. Spoilers if you haven't watched, but probably most people have watched it, so watching this, this review, review anyway. But uh, overall, it, the storyline is you got this um, Jack Harper and another character I've got who, who, what her name was who lives in this kind of um, big skyline or something in the sky. And what they are, he's a repair person and repairs these kind of drones for these big, big machines that um, suck in the water out of the planet because. Um, the planet is uninhabitable, uninhabited. But once, when he finds out that there are a group of humans living on the planet, and he realizes that it's all, it's all fake. It really is all fake, and the whole thing is drawn by these aliens of some things that, uh, stuff like that. It's a very a lot of plot twists and turns along the way, and what, and also finds out that, and finds out that there are other clones of them on the planet as well so it's all a big cover up by these aliens of sorts and yeah I really enjoy this one uh, it took me a long, long time to watch this one I didn't watch it I didn't watch it when it came out I didn't even go to cinema to watch it the cinema I haven't even this year even last year I didn't go to the cinema that much I probably once I think I went to see Star Trek Into Darkness I think The Lone Ranger I think I might have only seen two movies last year. I'm pretty bad on that. So yes, this is the DVD digital um, ultraviolet thing. That's the plain old disc, blue disc here. Um, special um, special features, well, none. But really, I, I really don't buy the DVDs for the things for special features. You know, if things if Blu-rays, if, if, if Blu-rays cheaper, I will buy. But if not, I'm not really, you know, I'm not gonna buy just for special features. I think I only paid nineteen dollars for it anyway. So, so, Malibian. Probably a lot of people have mixed reviews. I do think it did pretty well at the um, box office. And yes, that yeah. Malibian. Highly recommend it. He gets a thumber. Get the th thumb up, highly recommend from Mr. Oz. So, yes, I believe in Check it out. And, and so, that's it for my review of sorts, rambling on of, sci of the sci fi movie Olivian. This is Mr. Oz Video 1985 saying bye for now, not forever. Catch you next time. Ciao.